Hi, hello again. Okay, this time we'll have a short quiz. Okay, uh, so what we will do, uh, I will flash the uh, problem and then uh, we'll pause for a while or you can pause the video and then try to solve it yourself. This is a very short, a very simple uh, problem. Also a passport exam. And then you can solve it yourself and then continue with the video to see the solution. Okay, it's a very ideal for those who are uh, preparing for their board exam or any exam that they will take. All right, so this is about internal forces in beams. The shear, moment, torsion, whatever, internal forces in beams. Okay, here's the question. The cantilever beam shown is fixed at point C. Okay, so as you can see, the length, uh, this is a cantilever beam perpendicular to the wall. Uh, the length of the beam is uh, 2.2 meters. The concentrated load applied at a distance A perpendicular to the length, no? uh, that's 0.3 meters. And then the uniform load is 6 kilonewtons per meter, the intensity of this load here. So we will just neglect the weight of this bar here, supporting P. So we will just ignore that one. So the questions are the maximum bending moment in the beam, second one, the maximum torque in the beam, and the maximum shear in the beam. It, this is the beam. So there's no particular point on which part of the beam is being asked, but that's part of the problem okay if you want to solve this uh, for a while okay you can post the video i will post for a while and then i will continue later okay so i hope uh, you did the uh, choose the correct answer let's see if you have chosen the correct answer all right so the load is only, there are only two loads, the uniform load and the concentrated load. Let's do first the maximum bending moment in the beam. Where will it occur? Or who will cause that? What force will cause the bending? You know, bending is uh, bending along the length. It's not twisting. Okay? The bending along the length. It will be caused by this uniform load and the concentrated load, of course. Okay? So it will bend about C, and that will be the biggest bending moment here will occur. Of course, this is a cantilever beam. It will always occur at the fixed end. So that the maximum moment, bending moment, is at point C. So that will be, for the W, uh, 6 times the length of the beam, 2.2 meters, times 1 half of 2.2. This is it, 1.1. 6 times 2.2 times 1.1, and your P, the load. P times L, P times L. Actually, the proper sign must be negative, but since the choices are all positive, then okay, it's okay. But uh, if you follow the sign convention for the bending moment, this should be negative because the beam bends downward. But anyway, the choices are all positive, then uh, we can have it that way. So that gives you 80.2. So I hope you got the correct answer. Okay. Next, the maximum torque in the beam. So torque is twisting along the axis of the beam, of the member. This is the axis of the member. So the force that we call torsion on that is not W, but P. We will assume that W is acting over the strong axis, the plane of the major axis. So it will not cause any torque along that plane. Only P because it is acting off axis. And that will be, by the way, all throughout the length, the torque is the same. The torque is the same. The twisting moment is the same. And that will cause by P, and that will be P times A. 30 times uh, 0.3. And that is 9 kilonewton meter. Or torque, or we call it the twisting moment. It will twist the beam. And finally, the maximum shear in the beam. What is shear? Shear is the force parallel to the cross section of the beam or the force perpendicular to the axis of the beam. The axis of the beam is this one. So the force perpendicular to that is vertical. 
And of course, the biggest share can occur or will occur at the support, at the fixed end. And that will be caused by the total loan, W times L plus the force P. W, okay, so that will be the share at C. Okay, it will be caused by all the loads. Okay, six times two, that's for the uniform load. Huh? Six times 2.2 plus your 30. So the shear force, and that is 43.3 uh, kilo newton. Again, for the sign, uh, the proper sign must be negative because the shear here force causes. Uh, I'm sorry, it's positive. It causes a clockwise twisting, a clockwise shear, clockwise rotation, upward force here and downward here, clockwise. So that's correct. Nah? Uh, 43.2 kilo newtons. Okay, so I hope uh, you got these answers. We'll be doing this. Uh, we will be posting videos like this from time to time. Very short only. We will avoid those difficult. I know only few students will attempt that. Okay, so I hope you like our video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can, uh, we will be uploading videos every day that can be used. And then uh, don't forget to click on the bell icon. Okay, thank you so much.